sitting here actually frying eggs, which will hopefully help me keep this video short. <laughs> so, what this video is about is how we prepare ourselves. And I don't remember where I heard it from. I don't know if it's a famous saying or just something I heard someone say, but it stuck with me for since I heard it. And I would tell you when that was, but with the memory issues, I really don't know. <laughs> but it's kind of important. The saying is... If you prepare for the worst, then you can love everything else. So, if you think about how that relates to life, if you think that the worst thing that could ever happen is an asteroid hits the Earth. So, and wipes out civilization or a large part of it. And you prepare for that. So you come up with a plan like, oh, if this happens and I live, how do I survive that? And so you think, oh, I, I need to have some food, you know, however much food to prepare for this. I need to have the food and I need to have some water and I need to have shelter and I need to have a way to keep warm. So you devise a plan to prepare for that event. And then, if that's the absolute worst thing that you can think can happen and you're prepared for that, then that means everything else is a walk in the park, right? You're already prepared for the worst thing you believe could ever happen. And I know this is going to sound crazy, but it's kind of important that I was prepared... For what I believe to be the worst thing that could ever happen. And then I got cancer. And cancer was just a walk in the park. Because that wasn't the worst thing that I thought would ever happen. It wasn't even on my radar if you want to know the truth. But to me there were worse things that could happen and I was already prepared for those. So, against all odds, I, I didn't really worry about the cancer because I had already prepared for what I believed to be the worst thing that would ever happen to me. And uh, that kind of relates, or you should find a way to relate to that in your life because it doesn't matter how bad something is that happens in my life it's it's hopefully it's not what I feel is the worst thing that could ever happen so therefore I just take it in stride and get you know it's just a hurdle you got to jump this hurdle and get past it and uh, I'm kind of putting this out there because um, Sometimes people want to give up over like the silliest things like like there are a lot of people that prepare for all kinds of things. People prepare for hurricanes. They live in a hurricane area. I mean it, it would be kind of silly to prepare for a hurricane if you lived in like the desert. <laughs> but the people in the desert they have to prepare for maybe an extended drought or you know, they, they have to prepare for fires. You know, there's not a lot of trees in the desert, but there's a lot of heat. You know, people that live in some areas of California, they have to be prepared for fires. And also in California, people have to be prepared for earthquakes. And really, in Kentucky, we need to be prepared for earthquakes. But if you prepare for whatever you believe is the worst thing that could happen, everything else in life becomes easy because it could be bad. It could be horrible. 
but you're already prepared. And that's kind of like the message that I want to leave you with is that prepare for the worst thing and love everything else because everything else is a walk in the park at that at that point in time. So as you're trying to get through life, just think of like what is the absolute worst thing, like the worst thing that could happen to me and then devise a plan to prepare for that. And that's really all you need to do. If you're prepared for the worst thing you think could happen, then everything else is easy. So I hope that you find this helpful, and I hope I encourage you to think about what is the worst thing that could happen in your life. And then you figure out how to prepare for those things. And just enjoy life, because everything else is easy after that. So, as always, God bless you, God bless your families, God bless your homesteads.